Hi everyone. So this is my latest journal. Um, this one is made from recycled card or cardboard from public packaging and a uh, locked paper from Nepal. That's this lovely um, handmade papers which are printed on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's got a lovely, I don't know if you can see it. It's, it looks white and grey there, but it's the the um, the detail has got a nice silvery um, tone to it. Um, yeah, so this um, is a, uh, it's actually a three um, signature journal, but it's only has two um, sewn into the back here. One of them is glued in. It's a much smaller one. So it's a, two, a three hole pamphlet stitch. And there's the back, which is again, I've just left it quite plain really. Um, I thought whoever gets this journal, because it will be for sale, um, will want to maybe put something on there, or write on it or whatever, or just leave it blank, whatever. It's It's so pretty lovely paper very very um hard wearing um so yeah so that's the um cover and then we've got um a pocket here um so yeah i'm just open it up um, there we go. so a pocket there sorry about the camera again i um, still haven't got my camera stand um so they i've backed it with card just plain black card and the spine is um, backed with fabric and then i've used washi just for extra sort of security really just to help it stay in place um so yeah um it's quite sturdy really it's a sturdy book i have to say um so it the um original um, sort of the basis of it really was an envelope journal so it's made up of I think six envelopes or maybe more but anyway the, the envelopes um, were the basis of it and then I was originally just going to have this as the cover but then I decided to make um, a whole other cover um, so I'm really pleased with it actually it's like very very sturdy um, so this um, was the first envelope and it's open at the top so you could put something inside but obviously it's very very deep and um, I have put I've just glued this gorgeous little um, illustration in there um, this is a, a jelly a jelly print that I've that I did some time ago uh, but I thought it matched really nicely with this and then this is book page, uh, so yeah, and a bit of, I've just um, closed the side with a bit of um, washi tape as well. And then this is um, a little secret compartment, so a bit of secret journaling, and I've just put a piece of, uh, it's a French book, so, and it's, I think it's, um, 50s or 60s um, so yeah put that inside and then this is another pocket here and then I've put um, a journaling card in there so that's quite a, a wide pocket it's as wide as oh, God, sorry <laughs> I don't know why I did that um, so this is um, another eco die there's some detail on there it's quite nice and then i've sort of backed it so you can write on there, Put that in there. that's um some illustrations from a book i think i can't remember where i got it from and then this is um tea dyed paper i believe and i've just so it's, yeah i've used lots of layers i think just to create that sturdy um strong you know base to it and then this is the first signature um i think there's um 14 well there's there's seven um sheets um folded so that would make it 14 and um it's made up of 
you know, various different types of paper. So you've got card, um, parchment paper there and um, graph paper there. Um, yeah, just lots of different types of papers, which is quite nice to use for different, whatever you're going to do in it, writing it or, you know, um, sketching or whatever, sticking photographs or pictures in. Uh, and this is rust dyed paper. Um, so there's the centre of the signature and it's sewn in with um, waxed um, linen thread. Another piece of parchment paper there and then that's the back of the um, rust dyed paper. It's got some nice detailing there. And yeah, this is that pretty paper that I've used before. Quite like it. It's got some pretty little details in leaves and things. Um, some tracing paper. So yeah, so that's the first signature. Sorry. And um, and this is another envelope that you could put something in. I've done another card journaling card and backed it with more paper so you can write on it, popped it in there but you can put whatever you want in there, it's just a brown craft envelope. Again I've left it plain for you to do whatever you want to it, um, be nice to do, add some decoration of your own in here because it is quite heavily decorated, um, <clears throat> although the pages are plain but you know it's nice to decorate the envelopes as well. And then um, this is another pocket, a nice tall one, so you could do some journaling and pop it in there, some secret journaling. And this is just from an old, um, an old book. Just you can do whatever you want with that. You could <clears throat> stick something on if you didn't like it, um, or whatever you wanted to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then this is um, another eco die. Let me show you the detail. It's quite nice. And a pocket as well. So this forms the second little book um, within the book. Um, and it's just a few pages, really, just blank pages. <clears throat> Um, there's a little sort of tuck area there, so you could tuck something there, but you've got a large pocket there, and then you've got a few pages to write on or do whatever. And so this is actually stitched in, but it's glued, it's stitched to this, and then that's glued in. So that's how that's how I've done that. Um, so yeah, the same on that side, so you could use that as a little tuck area. And again, you've got another big pocket on there, really deep. And then I've just decorated that with um, some packing paper <clears throat> and it's got some dye on it. It's not, there's no real detail on it. I think I dyed it with elderberries. <laughs> um, but anyway, you know, it was a bit of an experiment, but um, yeah, it's still nice paper to use. And then, uh, yeah, that's an, from an Edith Holden address book or something like that. And then this um, is another large envelope, uh, for, again, very, very sturdy. It's, it's just backed with so many pieces of different paper and obviously I've collaged on it. I've put um, a little plant in there, a little um, pressed. It's quite dark, but it's still quite pretty and I do love that, those leaves, that's really nice. So it's a collage and it's got washi on it and it's just a really nice, nice page. Um, you can't open it, I've closed it completely, but it does provide a very sturdy cover. And then um, on here, um, I've put 
yeah, more paper, packed it with more paper, and then I've put this little card on. It was originally a journaling card, but then I decided to use it as a nice decoration for one of the pages, particularly as this one's so heavy, it can hold this really well. Um, and it's just, you know, detail in there. This is um, a little hand-stitched hand, or whatever it is. <laughs> and then I've glued it on here but um, it's a tea bag so and then I've stitched around the whole thing so before I glued it on and then here is another envelope um, this one is closed as well but I have added pockets so you've got a pocket here and you've got a flip out here and this you can put something in there I've left it plain again I've left those two plain for you to decorate. And then here I've got quite, this is quite decorative paper, but it's quite pretty. Um, so yeah, that goes in there. And then, so that's a pocket. And then obviously this is a pocket as well. These tags are just generic tags. I haven't made that those obviously, but they're, you know, I thought they went well with that. and look pretty. don't know what's going on there. I don't know why it won't go in. Okay, um, so then this is the third signature. And again, this is um, sewn in, same way, and same type of papers. Um, that's tea dyed or coffee dyed paper. Um, the same grid paper and yeah. So just the same really. And again, stitched in with the wax linen thread. So there's plenty of paper to write on and do whatever. And then this is the back page. And then this is another envelope um, that I've heavily decorated. And it's very sturdy once again. You can see it's got the consistency of card. I have put um, another plant pressed flower in there. It's really pretty. There we go. Um, yeah, so that's nice. And then this is just the the back of that page and then um, you can do whatever you want with that. You could put a photograph on it, it would be quite nice or something, just decorate it however you want. And then another pocket at the back and I've just put these two bits of ephemera in just to show you that it's a pocket. And again, a deep pocket, it goes in quite deep. So yeah, um, so that's the book. It's um, it's quite heavy. It's a heavy book. Um, it's it's well made, so it's it's not going to fall apart. And um, yeah, it's got a nice curved spine. Um, it can expand further, so you could add lots more things in there. Um, it's certainly not full. But it is heavy um, because of those sturdy pages that I've put in. And as I say, it's quite robust. So, yeah. And this will be going for sale in my um, Etsy shop. Um, or, yeah, um, reach out to me and um, email me, uh, message me, uh, email if you're interested in it. Um, so it is a nice book. Um, I'd keep it myself if I didn't have so many now. Um, but as I said, make a nice gift for somebody. So I hope you like it and um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.